Hey everyone, this is for the sign of Cancer as they all fall out um, for July of 2021. So welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back. Um, in this video, you're going to get the message from Spirit. If you don't know who I am, my name is Danielle Ingenito and I am a spiritual empowerment coach and healer and I am the expert in healing after toxic relationships. So in this reading, I do read intuitively so you can check out all of your signs and um, uh, to get a full picture of everything, okay? Uh, let's see what is going on. So loving that the Ace of Swords is your overall energy here. So that's really telling me that this is the month of transformation. This is the month of a big win for some of you is what I'm getting. If things don't resonate, that's okay. It's just not your message. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, but yeah, so I'm feeling as though this is the month for rising above. So you might have... Um, some trouble that you come into or some decisions that you have to make. So just really pay attention to finding the inner strength and knowing your truth um, so that you don't let anybody else make you feel um, confused or kind of like not yourself is what I'm getting. All right. So one more card and we will get started here. Oh, I'm go ahead and leave that there. Okay. So the first part of the month here is we've got the Two of Wands, we've got the Emperor, we've got the Seven of Pentacles, and we have the Wheel of Fortune. So again, there could be a choice that you have to make in the beginning of the month, and this is, the Emperor is just power to me. So this is about make sure that you're making the choice that makes you feel the best. Don't make the choice because somebody else wants you to make the choice. Because you've got the seven of pentacles after this. And I feel as though if you make the right choice that is in alignment with you, you are then going to be able to um, reap the benefits. So like you are going to be able to harvest. This is about, you know, a long time here planting and working and everything. But now it's like you get to enjoy it and make the decision that is best for you. With the wheel of fortune, I feel as though when you do that, you're going to start to get the ball rolling and a micro decision is what I'm hearing. So like, even if this is a little decision, maybe you don't even think it means that much. Like pay attention to it because the little decision is going to get a bigger decision going. Okay. So this little decision is going to cause the motion and start the wheel turning to get something bigger um, in play. All right. So just even if you think it's a little decision, uh, pay attention to it and do what feels good to you. I always say, like, live your life with a soul. Yes. Like if something doesn't feel like, oh, my gosh, yes, I want to do that, then try to find something that does like you don't have to do things that make you miserable. So really ask yourself now, like before you do something like like I put my heart, my hand over my heart and I say, is that a soul? Yes, for me. Like, do I really want to do that? And if it's a no, then I don't do it. And that's starting to follow your intuition with that. So now in the middle of the month here, you've got the Knight of Cups, you've got the Strength card, you've got the Eight of Wands, and you've got the Temperance. So uh, I'm feeling like it's a little light in the middle of the month, like not a lot going on is what I'm hearing, okay? You've got the Knight of Cups, you've got the Strength Eight of Wands. So even with the Eight of Wands, it's a lot of movement, a lot of action, but I don't know. In this reading, I'm feeling like it's it's just about balance. It's about like sitting back and watching things go, watching things grow, um, you know, finding the strength. And sometimes, this is the message I'm getting for you. Sometimes it's harder, most of the time, it is harder to sit back and surrender and trust that the decisions that you made up here are in play, okay? And that's what I'm feeling here. So if part of you is going to want to charge forward, but sit back and relax and realize with this temperance card, create that balance and allow things to accumulate, allow things to just flow to where they, they need to go. With the universe, it's like you got to give the universe time to do its work. You can't like today be like, I want this and then expect it like tomorrow. You can't want... You can't be like, I want a million dollars today and then expect the million dollars tomorrow. You've got to get give the universe time and you've got to sit back, not in fear, not in panic, but in trust and surrender that, okay, I've put my, 
my request out there and now I'm going to give the universe time because believe me, I've been through so many situations where it is like, you know, this had to happen for this had to happen to this had to happen for me to get what I wanted to manifest. So like, it's not just about you. <laughs> it's about everybody that's in play with this one plan or this manifestation that you're, you wanting. Okay. Towards the end of the month here, you've got the four of wands, you've got the knight of wands, You've got the death card and you've got the justice card. So I feel a lot of strength coming in at the end of the month, even though it's up here. I do feel like there's a lot of strength coming in at the end of the month for you. Um, you're going to be communicating more. You're going to be standing in your power more. You're going to be more confident and you're really kind of communicating that. And you can see like this Knight of Cups is really going nowhere. It's going backwards, going nowhere. But now like this Knight of Cups, even though it's going backwards, it's going back to communication. It's going back to what you need and what you want. And with the death card, I feel as though you got the justice here too. Like this is the transformation. It's like standing up for yourself. It's like doing what you want to do. It's about getting what you want instead of always giving to everybody else. So really important there to, you know, make the right decisions in the beginning of the month. But even if you haven't, like you can, you can change them, right? But definitely standing in your power and letting the transformation happen. Taking deep breaths when the fear comes up and just letting it happen for you. And that page of cups is about giving yourself that opportunity, sitting down, meditating, energy work, all of this good stuff. Okay. So I, I like this reading for you guys. Like I really do. I feel like you're not going to see much on the outside in like reality, but it's a lot of the inner work that is happening for you. And I feel as though it will take time for the outer um, energy to catch up to what you're doing on the inside, okay? So I'm actually really liking this for you. There's gonna be a lot of changing. Oh, look at that. Okay, so you've got the world card here. So it says rewards, expansion, destiny. You've got the challenges and problems, five of swords. Nothing is ever easy. It is not going to be easy for you to surrender and like trust. You're going to breathe a lot. <laughs> Every time you have fear come up, like take a deep breath because you're going to breathe a lot. All right. And then you've got the high priestess here, which is feminine influence, inner guidance. So this is about connecting to that intuition, trusting, surrendering, but like knowing that you are doing the right thing and knowing that everything is going to be okay. So anytime you have trouble with that, with the high priestess, you know, maybe do a meditation, um, take a deep breath in and just connect to your angels, you know, whoever you believe in, whatever you believe in, um, just connect to a higher source as much as possible, especially when fear is coming up. All right. The question of the month for you here is what am I waiting for someone else to do it for me? And it says, are you waiting on someone else before you can take the big leap? What if you were to take life into your hands and forge your own unique path? Put your heart into action and ask yourself, what risk can you take to move towards your dreams? Make a decision and do it. No more waiting for others. Do it scared. Take the leap. And it says, today's sole action is no more thinking, only doing. Be brave and you will discover what you are really made of. Wild soul, strong heart, can't lose. Okay? So this is beautiful here because you're the only one that's going to create this. You're the only one that's going to do the inner work for you. So you can't put that on anybody else. You can have other people that can guide you to do the inner work, but you are the only one that can do it. So especially with this Ace of Swords here, like this is your month to change I'm getting a lot with the heart chakra, a little bit with the solar plexus. So like really gaining your confidence, gaining your self-love, gaining your self-worth and opening your heart to love again is for some of you, it's like it's been closed down for way too long and now it's time to open up. Okay. So that is your message for the month. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it resonated with you. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button with a little bell notification to get notified when I do have new videos coming out. Make sure you hit the the thumbs up button if it resonated and definitely pick up a copy of my book online. It's not you, it's your energy to learn all about your energy, how to clear it, protect it and heal it. All right. 
Much love to all of you. Have a wonderful month and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.